sharing the screen. So good afternoon. Hello everyone. I'm Anjali Shavasto, retired uh, zoology professor from Jamshedpur Women's College. And this is my channel, Adar Shalya, created for the help of the students who want to learn. Uh, presently, the topics I'm covering are the topics given by the MSc semester one students, paper one and paper two. And as the syllabus has to be completed, by the end of the month uh, of May, uh, they'll be as their final semester examinations will be there. So I'm uh, presently including their topics only requested by them. Some of in the next videos, uh, we will see some uh, topics re requested by the MSc final semester students. If anyone wants to discuss some, any particular topic, please write in comment box or chat box or any clarification do write in your uh, uh, in my uh, comment box or the channel box so let's start with the topic that we are going to do that is an epidural system or excretory system of annelida the annelids you all know are the uh, the members of the phylum annelida which is an important non chordate group standing a very peculiar position in the evolutionary phylogeny uh, also as their caudate ancestry is very evident uh, they can be said as the segmented worm like non caudates having a true coelom triploblastic body wall metamedically segmented uh, segmented body with annularities annulations and the locomotory organs as ct the nephridia, which are the uh, excretory organs of the annelids, is having a phylogenetic uh, uh, importance also, and uh, are uh, for the first time observed as a profound or this defined excretory organ um, in annelida, and which can be compared with the mini kidney of the higher forms of the vertebrata. So let's start with this uh, presentation. This is an nephridial system. In very short, these are the uh, different types of nephridia found in uh, earthworm. That is a typical representative of phylum annelida. Now, the excretion. You must all be knowing excretion is the process of removal of nitrogenous waste produced during the metabolic activities of the body in every each and every living organism. In lower forms, it doesn't require much collection and in the like the protozoa porifera. In, in such forms where is, there is no uh, defined excretory organs, the excretory wastes are collected, which are uh, mainly by the process of uh, uh, byproducts of the digestion, then respiration, and other uh, physiological activities. And they are thrown uh, out of the body through simply uh, osmosis or by diffusion. In annelida, excretion takes place by means of very minute coiled tubes, which are segmentally arranged mostly and are called nephridia. The nephridia, that is the plural is nephridia, is an invertebrate organ found in pairs and they uh, perform a function similar to vertebrate kidney, which originate from the caudate nephridia. Nephridia remove metabolic waste from animal's body. The nephridia come in two basic categories, the metanephridia and protonephridia. So girls, one more thing, students uh, rather, one more thing I'll, mm, I would like to mention that uh, the, in form of the notes, it is written on PowerPoint presentation. You can go through uh, uh, this write-up uh, to pre prepare your notes. I'm going on, I'm not, uh, in place of reading this PowerPoint presentation, I'm going to explain the uh, matter in my own language. Uh, regarding this history, this is the history of the uh, nephridia, which many uh, important zoologists have uh, given and they know they have uh, given established facts uh, about this uh, nephridia and the excretory vests. 
Now, uh, structurally, uh, before going into the details of the structure, the, so if we consider in most analytes, the blood vascular system and coelom are also involved in the excretion of waste products. Later, we will see how the coelom is directly involved with the function, function of uh, nephridium in uh, most of the analytes. Then the polychaetes blood vascular system is absent or reduced uh, and the, uh, uh, the excretory system is formed of the protonephridium. The, these proton, uh, the typical, this, this is the protonephridium and the meso, uh, another evolved from it is said is the type of nephridium that is called as the typical nephridium is a metanephridium. So uh, we will see uh, um, onwards, I am taking that nephridia ka classification is done in many ways. Unke function, unke size, unke embryonic development. कई एक तरीकों से उनका क्लासिफिकेशन uh, किया गया है, but basic classification अगर हम देखें, तो basically nephridium पहले arise किए हैं एक short structure के रूप में, having a short blind end, an, an opening uh, through which the excretory vessels are thrown out of the body, which uh, continues into a small duct. Uh, this is the the opening is the nephridial pore. This is the typical, uh, very previous type of nephridia, which is called as the protonephridium, which is found in many polychaetes as uh, even in adults also. But in majority of cases, we will see that when the development of the embryonic stage, mein, to nephridia is in protonephridial phase or embryonic phase or in provisional condition. Mein develop karna shuru karte or ek hi anelida ke uh, example mein aap dekh sakte hain ki embryonic stage mein protonephridia hai jaise jaise aage badhte hain segmentation inki segmentally arranged hote hain aur jaise jaise uh, development aage badhta hai ho sakta hai kai ek cases mein ye protonephridia convert kar jate hain metanephridia mein kai ek cases mein kai ek particular segments mein ye nephridia bilkul absent ho jate hain kai ek jagah pe nephridia uh, coelom duct se connected ho jate hain और इनके बेसिस पे कैसे इनका कनेक्शन है कैसे ये दूसरे सिस्टम से कनेक्ट होते हैं कैसी इनकी साइज है कैसा इनका फंक्शन है इसके बेसिस पे नेफ्रिडिया को कई तरीकों से क्लासिफाई किया गया है तो लेट अस सी द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिट बेसिक टाइप्स ऑफ नेफ्रिडिया आर टू नेफ्रिडिया एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू द प्रोटोनेफ्रिडिया एंड द मेटानेफ्रिडिया दिस इज द प्रोटोनेफ्रिडिया व्हिच इज सेड टू बी प्रीवियसली डेवलप्ड एंड ओरिजिनली from the embryonic cells, which are called as the nephroblast. In the next diagram, I'll show you. This is uh, the protonephridia having a single outer opening. This is nephridio pore, a short tube. That is this in this, the another end of the nephridia hangs in the coelom, coelomic cavity. And in protonephridial condition, this coelomic cavity may a blind, a blindly ending uh, protonephridia khatam hote hain. Ye jo blind end hai, ye thoda sa Spoiled hota hai, inflated bulb ki tarah ka shape ka hota hai, and it is very much comparable with the flame cell of the platyhelminths platform. So the establishing a uh, linkage, a link, a connection between the in the evolutionary history that is helminths ancestors ho sakte hain and elida ke. This flame cell, this is the typical anephridial condition of a helminth, which is almost more or less similar to the uh, protonephridium found in uh, the early embryonic stage and in many polychaetes, even in adult stage. The main difference lies here. That is, the tube where nephridio pore shuru hota hai, tube mein jata hai, or instead of this flame cell ending into a single inflated flame cell, ye nephridia uh, ka ye end ho sakta hai, split kar jaya, chote chote ducts ke roop mein bunch, branched ho jaya, ending into blind, uh, pin like headings, and these structures are called as solenocytes. These solenocytes are bunches mein present in the bunches, and these bunches in the ka tube in ka, uh, uh, provided with certain hair like structures. Here is also cilia like structure. Due to the beating of these cilia like structure into the coelomic fluid, the excretory, excretory vests are collected, thrown into, uh, collected inside this duct and through the nephridio pore, it is thrown outside. So this is a typical protonephridium. This is the more evolved, the latest form of the another, uh, the developed 
फॉर्म ऑफ नेफ्रीडियम दैट इज द मेटा नेफ्रीडियम मेटा नेफ्रीडियम जब हम एक टिपिकल नेफ्रीडियम का स्ट्रक्चर स्टडी करते हैं तो वो मेटा नेफ्रीडियम का स्ट्रक्चर स्टडी करते हैं विच कैन बी डिवाइड इन टू थ्री पार्ट ये दिस इज द नेफ्रीडियो पोर्ट जो स्किन में एंटेग्यूमेंट में सिचुएटेड होता है इन आइडर केसेस इट कंटिन्यूज इन टू अ डक्ट और अ ट्यूब ऑफ वेरियस लेंथ इन डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स बहुत सारे फॉर्म्स में शॉर्ट डक्ट होता है कुछ में थोड़ा लंबा होता है बट अर्थ फॉर्म जो टिपिकली हर तरह का नेफ्रीडियम को रिप्रेजेंट करता है उनमें और कुछ और लाइगो कीट्स में ये ट्यूब वाला पार्ट हाईली इलांगेटेड होता है कॉल्ड होता है कन्वल्यूटेड होता है और कई एक रीजन्स में डिमार्केटेड होता है डिवाइडेड होता है डिपेंडिंग अपॉन इट्स फंक्शन एंड अल्टीमेटली दिस ट्यूब कंटिन्यूज इन टू अ फनल लाइक ओपनिंग विथ सीलिएटेड फनल इसमें सीलिया बहुत सारे प्रेजेंट हैं एक ये सिलोम में खुल रही है ये ओपनिंग या नेफ्रीडियल सेप्टम सेगमेंटल जो सेगमेंट्स को डिवाइड करते हैं उन सेगमेंट्स में खुल रही है ये ओपनिंग and this is called as nephrostome this is the nephrostome so this is the typical metanephridium and that states the typical structure of a typical nephridium now again i have told you you can read from here what is the difference the duct is ciliated internally and uh, connected with the blood vessels jo uh, when we have seen these tubes they are actually associated with the blood vascular system because they have to collect the excretory waste from these liquid medium that is from the blood they extract out the excretory waste which are of different forms that we will see when we will do the physiology of nephridium that is a uh, nitrogenous waste ammonia urea uh, guanine uh, creatinine like proteins so that we will see in details when we will see the nephrology the originally i have already told you a single cell that is called as nephroblast from these nephroblast which are ectodermal in origin these nephridia develops so this is a very diagrammatic representation uh, th these are the arrow mark shows ki kis tarah se proceedings hote hain ye ek diagrammatic representation hai ek particular anelira ka bhi ho sakta hai aur in general diagrammatically kis tarah se ye nephroblasts hain ye dheere dheere pehle protonephridia mein develop hote hain aur higher forms mein yahi protonephridial forms सेगमेंटली अरेंज रहते हैं और अल्टीमेटली ये मेटानेफ्रीडियम में डेवलप कर जाते हैं दिस इज द सेप्टम जो पहले भी हमने देखा था कि एनलीडा की बॉडी का एक बहुत खास बात है बहुत बड़ी खासियत है कि ये मेटामेरिकली सेगमेंटेड होते हैं और ये सेगमेंटेशन होता है विद द डेफिनेट सेलुलर सेप्टम दियर ऑन वन साइड ऑफ विच इज सिचुएटेड द नेफ्रोब्लास्ट दैट इज फ्रॉम विच the nephridium will develop this is the protonephridium a single nep uh, nephridial pore hai uh, nephridio pore hai aur isse bluntly ending protonephridia develop ho raha hai further development jab hota hai to isme is me uh, acylomic uh, lining intervene karne lagti hai acylomic opening banne lagta hai aur this is the uh, most evolved form jahan pe ye funnel ke shape ka nephrostome ban gaya nephridio pore hai aur ye uh, tube hai so this is the diagrammatic representation of the developmental stages of nephridium of annelida now this is the classification of nephridium as i have told you basically two broad categories mein nephridia ko baanta gaya hai protonephridia and metanephridia protonephridia as the name says protoss is first jo previously developed hue hain bahut primary nephridia hai unko protonephridia kaha jata hai aur मोर इवॉल्व फॉर्म्स जिनमें के नेफ्रोस्टोम खुलता है सिलोम में उनको मेटानेफ्रीडिया कहा जाता है बट दिस इज नॉट द फाइनल क्लासिफिकेशन नेफ्रीडिया हैव बीन क्लासिफाइड वेरियसली इन वेरियस वेज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन इट्स स्ट्रक्चर फंक्शन इट्स एसोसिएशन विद द अदर एक्सक्रीटरी पार्ट्स और द अदर बॉडी पार्ट्स लाइक द सिलोमोडक्ट एंड दैट वी विल सी इन अहेड So this is this chart has been given by uh, uh, this chart is after K and Bahel, according to which the nephridia may be categorized into two broader part that is the embryonic uh, free, uh, nephridia or proto nephridia or provisional nephridia found in embryonic stage. Of course, in certain polyps, it is found in the adult stage also. It persists. in adult stage and then are the permanent nephridia found in adult stage called as metanephridia 
the protonephridia are mainly of two uh, the um, protonephridia uh, are cephalic nephridia and truncal nephridia ek hi nephridia ke do body parts ho sakte hain kuch forms mein cephalic nephridia hi functional hota hai kuch mein truncal nephridia hi uh, functional hota hai then permanent metanephridia may is of four types macronephridia as the name says they are also called as meganephridia साइज बड़ा होता है माइक्रो नेफ्रीडिया और द स्मॉलर नेफ्रीडिया देन पेप्टो नेफ्रीडिया एंड टफ्टेड नेफ्रीडिया दिस टफ्टेड नेफ्रीडिया इज अ टिपिकल मेटा नेफ्रीडियल पार्ट नाउ दिस प्रोविजनल और एम्ब्रियोनिक नेफ्रीडिया एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दीज आर द टेंपरेरी स्ट्रक्चर्स दिस अपीयर एज सून एज परमानेंट नेफ्रीडिया स्टार्ट डेवलपिंग इट हैज टू पार्ट्स फर्स्ट इज एम्ब्रियोनिक हेड नेफ्रीडिया that is found in paired condition in larva and embryo the ends lie in embryonic head cavity head region mein jaisa hum representation jab dekha tha tab dekha tha head region mein uh, inka ends uh, rehta hai solenocytes at the end of the tube occur found in many polychaetes and oligochaetes they are branched occasionally for example in acurus and polygodius jab ye branched hote hain to solenocytes mein end karte hain now this is the embryonic trunk nephridia which may persist as protonephridia for adult types also in many polychaetes these these are the specific uh, characteristics of embryonic trunk nephridia they are strictly segmentally arranged occur one pair in each segment and their funnel opening into the trunk region now this is the details of the embryonic trunk nephridia embryonic trunk nephridia may persist in those forms where permanent nephridia do not develop ये इसको आप लैंग्वेज आप यहाँ से पढ़ लीजिएगा इसका जिस्ट मैं बता देती हूँ कि बहुत सारे नेफ्रीडिया प्रोटो नेफ्रीडिया जब डेवलप होते हैं तो ये रिप्लेस होते जाते हैं जैसे जैसे फर्दर डेवलपमेंट होता है बाय द मेटा नेफ्रीडिया बट इन मेनी फॉर्म्स जैसे नीरिस में है या और कुछ अदर फॉर्म्स हैं जिनमें कुछ में ये परसिस्ट कर जाते हैं एडल्ट में भी कुछ दूसरे फॉर्म्स में ये परसिस्ट करते हैं एंटीरियर पार्ट्स में और जब ये खत्म होते हैं तो वहां पर फर्दर मेटा नेफ्रीडिया डेवलप ही नहीं होता है सो दे दीज एम्ब्रियोनिक ट्रंक नेफ्रीडिया मे एज्यूम डिफरेंट फेट्स इन द डिफरेंट एनालिट्स द एग्जांपल्स आर गिवन इन दैट प्रेजेंटेशन यू कैन स्टडी एंड टेक द नोट्स now the second type of nephridia are the permanent nephridia or the meta nephridia having the typical uh, nephridial structure with a ciliated nephrostome opening into coelom long internally coiled duct opens externally by nephridiopore and the nephrostome and nephridiopore may occur in same segment or the former a segment forward ek hi segment mein nephridiopore aur nephrostome dono reh sakta hai ya kuch forms mein Uh, ये एक्सटेंड करता है एक सेगमेंट में नेफ्रोस्टोम रहता है दूसरे सेगमेंट में नेफ्रीडियोपोर रहता है नाउ द अनदर मोड ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ नेफ्रीडिया इज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द साइज एंड नंबर द नेफ्रीडिया में बी ऑफ फोर टाइप्स मेगा नेफ्रीडिया और होलो नेफ्रीडिया दैट इज द लार्ज साइज माइक्रो नेफ्रीडिया पेप्टो नेफ्रीडिया एंड द टफ्टेड नेफ्रीडिया द मेगा नेफ्रीडिया इज लार्ज साइज वन पेयर इन ईच सेगमेंट माइक्रो नेफ्रीडिया स्मॉल साइज many in each segment then peptonephridia formed by modification of salivary glands in buccal and pharyngeal region in form of clusters and uh, in oligochaeta they aid in digestion this peptonephridia as the name says it helps uh, in digestion and uh, the tufted nephridia are the typical uh, metanephridia derived from micro and macro nephridia and completely branched group together usually found in one or several of preclitelar segments of many earthworms the uh, according to bahel 1942 uh, these tufted nephridia represent an intermediate stage between holo nephridian and a group of completely separated mero nephridia now the nephridia again may be divided into two types according to the presence of the nephrostome nephrostome ka kis tarah ka presence hai और नहीं है उसके बेसिस पे नेफ्रीडिया फिर दो तरह के होते हैं ओपन टाइप व्हेन नेफ्रीडियम पॉजेसेस अ फनल क्लोज टाइप व्हेन व्हेन द नेफ्रीडियम इज लैकिंग अ नेफ्रीडियम दैट इज द प्रोटोनेफ्रीडिया नाउ द नेफ्रीडिया मे बी एक्सोनेफ्रिक और एंटेरोनेफ्रिक अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर ओपनिंग टू द एक्सटीरियर 
फाउंड इन फेरेटीमा जैसे एग्जाम्पल इसका फेरेटीमा है अर्थवॉम ये एक्जो और एंटेरोनेफ्रीडिया हो सकते हैं जहां पर एक्जोनेफ्री आइडिया वो है जो डायरेक्टली खुलते हैं बाहर की तरफ थ्रू दीडियो पोर्ट और एंटेरोनेफ्रिक टाइप वो है जो एंटरिक कैनाल में खुलते हैं जैसे कि फॉर एग्जाम्पल सेप्टल नेफ्रीडिया और फरिंगल नेफ्रीडिया अगर आप दीज आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ नेफ्रीडिया फाउंड इन अर्थवॉर्म अगर आप एक अर्थवॉर्म को टिपिकल आइडेंटिकल एग्जाम्पल ले लें तो अर्थवॉर्म में मेटानेफ्रीडिया के हर तरह के फॉर्म्स दिखाई देते हैं जो तीन इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्म्स में होते हैं फरिंजियल एंटेग्यूमेंट्री एंड सेप्टल नेफ्रीडिया जिनमें कुछ ब्लाइंडली एंड करते हैं नेफ्रीडियो पोर्ट से एंटर करते हैं कुछ एंटेरिक कैनाल में जा करके जुड़ते हैं और कंबाइंड वे में खुलते हैं और ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दीज नेफ्रीडिया आर एक्जोनेफ्रिक जो बाहर खुलते हैं एंटेरोनेफ्रिक जो एंटेरिक कैनाल में खुलते हैं और वहां से अलॉन्ग विद अदर अलॉन्ग विद अदर स्ट्रक्चर्स और इन डिफरेंट वे the uh, extract out the ex excretory waste all the uh, nephridia and ferritima are of micronephric type matlab ek ek segment mein bahut sare hote hain aur wo clusters mein hote hain now the this is the position of the nephridia in different examples like in lumbricus ketogaster neris they are meganephric the micronephridia are nothing but broken or disintegrate meganephridia now these are the different examples uh, given with the different shapes of the nephridia that you can take from the snow now this is the basic difference between the exo and entero nephridia and this is a diagrammatic uh, this is a representation of different types of uh, nephridia found in annelids typically presented by a single animal that is annelid uh, earthworm so this is the septal nephridia in transverse section this is the septal nephridia having this is nephrostome this is the long convoluted tube bule of uh, the nephridia you are looking teen tarah different tarah ke region dikh rahe hain isme twisted limb distal limb proximal limb or uh, straight lobe and this is opening in through uh, this is the uh, opening into cilium this nephrostome aur niche ka diagram kat gaya hai jo nephridio pore se bahar ki taraf khulta hai so this is the typical conditions now this this was the general discussions now let us see the position and situation and the developmental condition of nephridia in annelids different classes annelida ka uh, synopsis and biodiversity is but this vakti humne dekha tha ki locomotory organs ke basis pe annelida ko teen important classes mein divide kiya gaya the polychaeta having many uh, ct oligochaeta having few ct and hirudinaria that includes Uh, the uh, also the parasitic uh, ectoparasitic mainly annelids so to start with the polychaeta and most polychaetes metanephridia are present with this typical uh, metanephridian structure in inner ciliated aperture opening into body cavity ye jo typical uh, shape hai canal or coil tube connected to the nephrostome and a terminal end usually terminating into laterally uh, placed aperture called nephro nephridio pore now these are the various examples is mein thode bahut modifications ke sath segmental arrangement of uh, nephridia hai different examples of polychaeta irantia mein hai arenicola mein six pairs hota hai irantia mein ek pair hota hai uh, capitalidi mein bahut sare hote hain six pairs se bhi zyada ho sakte hain terbilidi mein one two three pairs hain so these are, are the examples that you can take from this note now this is the small regulation one thing i just forgot to mention this excretory system of annelida or the nephridium also does the work of wasmo regulation in the aquatic annelids jo pani mein rehte hain unka ek important kaam hai excess of pani ko bhi extract karke bahar nikalna to maintain the water level in the body so this is the wasmo regulation or excretion in class polychaeta by the different types of uh, nephridium this is the protonephridium many type uh, protonephri uh, in many uh, types of polychaetes the protonephridia are the main excretory organ whereas in some these both are present and in some others this metanephridium is the main excretory organ this is the way the uh, already we have discussed how the coelomodux they collect the this is the coelomodux funnel 
सिलोमोडक ये क्या है इसको अभी हम इसके थोड़ी थोड़ा आगे बढ़ते हैं तो देखते हैं सिलोमोडक्स आर द स्ट्रक्चर अनदर स्क्रिटरी स्ट्रक्चर्स डेवलप विद इन द सिलोमिक कैविटी जो दे आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द गोनोडक्स क्योंकि वो रिप्रोडक्टिव गैमिट्स को एक्सट्रैक्ट आउट करते हैं तो काम ये भी एक्सप्रेशन का करते हैं जो शरीर को नहीं चाहिए वो बाहर निकालते हैं तो इसलिए इनको कनेक्ट किया गया है and uh, in many uh, way they are connected with the this is the protonephridia and silomoducts ye association mein rehte hain so the fate of silomoduct in different forms we will see in the next class in the uh, next slides now girls uh, so the, this is the uh, condition of the nephridia in class polyketa now these are the details of again here the examples of uh, examples and condition of nephridia in the different groups and different uh, family of uh, the class polyketa of annelida this is the nephridiopore this is the nephridial duct this is the coelomor duct and this is the uh, nephridium protonephridium uh, the excretory vests are collected by the solenocytes this is the highly magnified view this is the electromagnified view jisme ki solenocytes ke bhi mein bunches longitudinal fibers mil kar ke ye tube ko banate hain jo continue continue karta hai in duct each in form of a hair like structure and the beating of these uh, hair like structures they uh, help into creating a current into this surrounding cellular fluid jahan se एक्सक्रीटरी वेस्ट कलेक्ट होकर के इन ट्यूब्स में आता है और यहाँ से थ्रू नेफ्रीडियो को बाहर निकल जाता है नाउ इन ओलाइगो कीट्स दैट इज द एग्जांपल इज अर्थफॉर्म आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेंशन ये बहुत ही पर्टिकुलर कंडीशन होता है द मेटा नेफ्रीडिया एकदम टिपिकल से लेकर के मोस्ट डेवलप्ड कंडीशन में तीन तरह के नेफ्रीडिया पाए जाते हैं ओलाइगो कीट्स में बंचेज में सेगमेंटली अरेंज होते हैं दे आर दिल नफ्रीडिया जो सेप्टम में प्रेजेंट होते हैं इंटेग्यूमेंट्री नफ्रीडिया पूरे स्टार्टेड रहते हैं सेगमेंट के इंटेग्यूमेंट में एंड द फिरजियल नफ्रीडिया विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द फिरजियल रीजन द डिटेल्स यू कैन से विद द एग्जाम्पल्स अदर ओलाइगो कीट्स आर ऑल्सो देर यू कैन गो थ्रू द डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ नफ्रीडिया इन द डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल्स थ्रू दिस अकाउंट नाउ दिस इज द ओलाइगो कीट एक्सप्रेटरी सिस्टम दिस इज अ टिपिकल सप्टल नफ्रीडिया that uh, assumes various uh, uh, various states of coiling and uh, uh, convolution in the different forms this is a uh, typical uh, nephridium this is the digestive tract jiske sath sath situated hota hai gut se extract karta hai uh, these nephridia these are the these nephridia they are collecting the excretory tract this is the coelomic uh, cavity and this is the Uh, diagrammatic representation of the expanded view of a single metanephridium yahan pe ciliated funnel hai jahan se excretory vest collect hota hai ye is tube mein jata hai is tube ka aap dekh sakti hai kitna highly convoluted hai and this is the meshwork of blood capillaries is blood capillary se hi inko extract karna hota hai nitrogenous waste so this is the bringing about uh, this this capillary is bringing the uh, the impure uh, blood you can uh, yeah this is this is not hemoglobin yahan pe koi associated nahi hai respiration associated nahi hai this is mainly for the assimilation so ye jo uh, uh, digested assimilated food aa raha hai usme se extract excretory waste ko collect karke bahar nikalta hai aur baki wapas chale jata hai for assimilation through this uh, blood cap uh, blood uh, uh, vein that is artery or vein mein difference yahan pe nahi hota hai in case of anelida so through this blood vessel it is again uh, goes inside the body for the distribution now these are the this is the uh, longitudinal view of different types of nephridia into the different segments segment wise the nephridia situated hote hain pehle 6 uh, to 7 segments tak mein pharyngeal nephridia hai ducts ke form mein these are the integumentary nephridia and these are the septal nephridia integumentary nephridia pure hi started rate hain septal nephridia post lighted region mein paaye jate hain then in hirudinia that is the final class of the annelida the permanent nephridia is lacking in many anterior and posterior segments jaisa maine pehle bataya tha ki jab protonephridia develop hote hain to jab wo 
बहुत सारे केसेस में खास तौर से हिरोडीनिया में वो मेटानिफ्रीडिया में कन्वर्ट होने की जगह काफी आगे के और पीछे के सेगमेंट से वो कम्प्लीटली खत्म हो जाते हैं और बीच के रीजन में प्रेजेंट होते हैं विथ पर्टिकुलर शेप दैट इज द एम्प्यूला ये एक टिपिकल हिरोडीनिया का है जो एक एम्प्यूला की तरह का शेप में इनका नेफ्रीडो नेफ्रोस्टोम होता है विच इज एसोसिएटेड विद द सिलोमोडक्ट और द सिलोमिक कैविटी जहाँ पे गोनार प्रेजेंट होता है दिस इज द टेस्टिस सैक यहाँ पर ये नेफ्रीडो पो साथ में खुलता है और ये सिलोमोडक्ट की ओपनिंग से बाहर निकलेगा एक्सक्रीटरी वेस्ट and it continues into uh, these are the various uh, proximal and distal part of the convoluted tubule of this nephridia that continues in form of a vesicular duct into a vesicle large urinary vesicle that opens to outside through the nephridio pore so uh, this is about the mm, uh, the position of nephridia in different classes now apart from this Uh, nephridial conditions there are certain excretory structures present into the body of the annelida one is siloma duct as we have already discussed these are also called as the mesodermal pouch in ancestral siloemates provided with a pair of ducts called siloma ducts or the gono ducts serving as a passage for exit of gametes and a single nephridial tubule nephridia aakar ke inhi siloma ducts mein khulte hain aur कॉमन ओपनिंग से नेफ्रीडिया नाइट्रोजनस वेस्ट बाहर निकालता है और सिलोमोडक्ट से रिप्रोडक्टिव गैमेट्स बाहर निकलते हैं दीज प्रिमेटिव नेफ्रीडिया रिजेंबल द प्लैटी हेलमिन थिक टाइप ऑफ एक्सक्रीटरी ऑर्गन दैट इज दे कंसिस्टेड ऑफ एक्टोडर्मल ट्यूब्यूल्स प्रोजेक्टिंग इन टू सिलोम एंड एंडिंग इन स्पेशलाइज सेल्स कॉल्ड सोलोनोसाइट देन अनदर टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर इज वेर द सिलोमोडक्ट कंबाइंड्स विद the nephridia and in association it is called as nephromixia so in many cases in polychaetes bahut sare cases mein uh, ye uh, nephridia silomoduct ke sath combine hote hain and this combination is in two uh, three important forms protonephromixium jahan par protonephridia uh, combine karte hain silomoduct se metanephromixium jahan metanephridia combine karte hain silomoduct se and this is the mixonephridium the mixed condition in case complete fusion between silomoduct and nephridium takes place now another some uh, another important parts are the ciliated organs the silomoducts alone become very much reduced in some cases and give rise to ciliated organs which do not open to outside such ciliated organs are found so uh, in the next class we will see in short the physiology of uh, nephridium functioning of nephridium and uh, the concluding part mentioning the essential excretory parts of the the uh, excretion of annelida